Are you ready for a very affordable way to feel better and to correct some imbalances? Spend a dollar, maybe two, get two tennis balls, duct tape them together. Now if you see by the shape, there's a little dip, a little gap there. You can roll on your erector spinae muscles. That's the muscles that go all along your spine. And all sorts of other muscles attached to your spine too. Your lats, your traps, your rhomboids. You can basically massage yourself and work out all kinds of knots and tightness and feel so much better. And it also does stuff for the front of your body. I'll explain. Let me try to show you. So it's best to do with the shirt off because otherwise you'll find the shirt will just bunch up when you move back and forth. So you probably want to do this in the privacy, privacy of your home. I'm not going to do this in the middle of a public gym. So I like to start on my lower back. So I have the tennis balls right lined up so the gap is where my actual uh, vertebrae are and the two tennis balls are touching my lower lumbar muscles. From here, I can slowly relax into it. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it's pretty intense, so you may not want to give your entire body weight to it. Um, that's why I'm resting on my elbows. As you get more experienced and more capable of, of dealing with the pain and the pressure, um, you'll be able to give more of your body weight to, to the tennis balls. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay back. And from here, I want to do deep breathing. Long, slow breaths in through the nose, taking the breath deep into your belly, feeling your belly rise, long exhale. You want to relax as much as possible and feel your body just kind of melt onto the tennis ball. You'll know when you have a tight spot because it'll, it'll surprise you. Now, it's gonna feel painful at first, but you wanna work through it and breathe through it. I will sometimes lay on these tennis balls for 20 minutes and get to the point where I'm falling asleep because my back has just become pure goo. It's so soft. So from here, if I wanted to make it more intense, I could actually lift up. So now nothing is touching. I'm, all my upper body weight is focused on those tennis balls. I'm putting a lot of pressure and that's gonna help work out any tight spots. Another technique you can do, you probably won't be able to see it on camera, is I can actually consciously flex my back muscles and then relax them. That's a good technique to learn what it feels like to be tense and to learn what it feels like to be relaxed is to contract the muscles and then relax the muscles. And you feel yourself sink deeper onto the tennis balls each time you do that. Now from here, um, I like to just roll like a half inch or an inch and do a new spot. And you can just continue to move and do all the way up your spine. Um, you really can't get it up to the neck, but all the way up to the upper back. Now I mentioned that it's also good for the front of the body. Why is that? Well, when I'm resting on the tennis balls, I have now opened up my chest. Um, a lot of us suffer from a posture where we're, we're too, you know, we're too slouched over like this. With the tennis balls under my back, now I'm, now I'm opening up my chest because my, my, my chest is, my back, I'm sorry, is being forced into like a concave position due to the tennis balls. So now I'm getting more, more stretch, more range of motion than my chest, through my chest, sorry. So laying back on the tennis balls, come here. Lay my hands back. Now I have this great chest stretch. Um, if you're tight enough, or if you're dealing or working through any kind of shoulder issue, you may even find that your arm floats like this. If it's bad enough, your elbow might even float. You might sit right here because this is so tight. That's okay. You want to work through it and breathe through it. Spend 15, 20 minutes in this position and just calmly breathe and you hopefully will find that your arm will eventually naturally relax all these chest muscles, all these overly tight muscles that we use too much and we slouch too much, being at the desks, being on our phones, and you'll actually be able to touch the ground. Now you can help this process along by doing a very, very 
subtle exercise. Now I'm on a rubber floor, it's easier on a carpet or something where you can get a little more slide or a wooden, a wooden floor. You're just gonna slide your arms. Now as I do this, I try to keep everything relaxed. I'm just very passively sliding my arms up and down. That's gonna continue to open up and stretch all these tight front of the body muscles. In addition, you in this position have your scapula in a really, really friendly position for, for good biomechanics. So your scapula is gonna move nice and proper. And so for all of those uh, with any kind of scapular issues, and there's a bunch, um, the uh, shoulder impingement and scapular winging, this is a really good exercise. Even without the tennis balls, you can do it on the floor and do slides, you can do this on the wall. But this is a good way to strengthen and encourage good, uh, good mechanics of the scapula. And so, again, this is not only good for the back, it's good for the chest. When I get down into the lower back, I like to straighten my legs out. You can't see it on camera, but I usually have my legs bent. That puts me in a pretty relaxing and comfortable position. Now, when I get to the lower back, I like to straighten my legs out, reach behind me, and really take in some deep breaths. And I can feel even my abdomen relaxing. Uh, so, this is basically a way to relax and loosen almost the entire upper body musculature. I, I have felt benefits for the abdominals, for the chest, uh, for shoulder mechanics, and for all the muscles of the back, the traps, the rhomboids, the lats, the erector muscles. So here it is, $2 and some duct tape. Get yourself some tennis balls, go slow. Again, when, when you're new to it, it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable when you start, but that means you have, you have knots and you have tightnesses that you need to work out. And um, enjoy, let me know how it feels for you.